Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mo's. On today's episode we're going to be doing a uh, another subscriber video request and this video has been out on YouTube for probably about the past 50 years. Um, there are millions of videos out there on how to do this but however one of my subscribers asked me to do a video for it so I said I would. Um, and that is a very simple thing on how to sharpen a, a lawnmower blade. That's the request. Uh, this blade's off a Honda um, or Atco, one or the other. Uh, probably an, an Atco, I expect. Um, it's not in bad condition. There are a few big nicks in the old blade. Um, it's come off of a scrap mower that I've, uh, I've uh, since scrapped out or repaired and gone elsewhere. And I've just kept the blade just for, for bits and pieces. So um, the way that I sharpen blades is very simple. I just use a flappy disc. Um, but I make sure that I make sure I've got the three angles on. I've got the, the blade edge, the step, and then the dull off on the back. That's how I do it because the blade should not be sharp. Okay, uh, if a blade is razor razor sharp, as soon as you hit the slightest flint or, or stone, you put a dink into a blade, and that's the blade sort of cooked. It's done. You, 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 knack, you knack over the edge. So um, a blade should have a good edge okay and um, because the grass is cut on a rotary mower via impact not like a cylinder mower like a cut with like a pair of scissors via the blade and the bed knife cutter so it is a slightly different way in which these are cut but uh, the blade should have a good edge not a sharp edge it should also then be well balanced as well so before you um before you sharpen your blade obviously you need to take your blade off of your machine which is done by removing the ht lead first so the machine is made safe once the HT is taken off or the spark plug removed, one or the other, you can then tip the lawnmower on its back or on its side, however the, the manufacturer recommends. And then by putting um, a spanner onto this or a, um, a breaker bar, you can then remove the blade itself. That can be quite tricky because they can be on there quite hard. If you don't have all the necessary tools like an air gun or something like that, you may struggle. I recommend putting you either your foot in between the blade and the body, or you can actually purchase a blade stop which off of um, eBay or Amazon, which bolts to the side of the engine and it stops your blade from spinning. That's the idea. You can then put your ratchet on it or big span out with a, with a pole and then remove your blade. The hardest part is removing the blade. Once your blade's been removed, as you can see, lots of debris on here. It wants a bit of a clean up. I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll show you how I sharpen the blade on any rotary um, style lawnmower. Okay, so number one, first thing we're gonna to need to do is have some protective equipment on. You're gonna need a pair of safety glasses. You're also gonna need some kind of ear protection. I've got little tiny ear bugs, what I use. Um, also, because we're using a grinder, you need to make sure you have no naked flames. All my petrol cans have been removed. And also I have a fire extinguisher and first aid kit should you need to do so. Okay, so make sure you have those things present. If not, just do the best you can do, but obviously you're doing this at your own risk. Okay, people? So safety glasses on first, because you only get one pair of eyes. And let's get me a little tiny ear bug. These are quite good. You get these off of eBay, wherever you just pinch the ends, roll them up, and then stick them in your ear rolls, like so. And they expand. And uh, now I can't hear nothing. So I may, I may start shouting because I can't hear a lot. So first thing we're going to do is I open up my uh, my vise, okay? And I'm going to put this blade in. That's quite a big blade, this one. Go all the way open. Drop it down. Stick it in there. Nice and tight, not too tight. And with my wire brush on my drill, you can use a hand wire brush. Just going to literally clean this blade up because it will affect the weight and the balance of the blade, okay? So let's just remove all of this debris off of this blade. Very, very simple, very, very easy. And you want to do that to both sides, okay? Can use gloves as well, don't get to wear your gloves. I don't tend to wear a lot of gloves at all, full stop. That one done, turn it over and do exactly the same the other side. This side isn't too bad. Nick it up in the vise. And I do this to all of my blades. It will, it will affect the balance a bit later on when we go to balance the blade up. Okay. Good enough for what we want to do. So the next thing we need to do is tip the blade over so that we have it facing upright. You know it's facing upright because these lifters are facing up. Okay. I'm going to put it back into the vise. Squeeze it up relatively tight. I'm going to move you guys over a touch so I can get in with a grinder. Now what we're looking to do is there an edge from here to here, and that faces down at this angle. There's an edge here. The bottom of the blade is flat, but there should be an edge here, a little tiny step of about well, 100 for a foul is crazy, just a little tiny step, a straight step, and then the back edge. I use a grinder, 
flappy disc 80 grit um, uh, coarse paper and what I do is when I start my grinder up I just hit the blade just touch it to find the right sort of angle once I've got the, the complete face being covered I know that's the angle I want and I just run the blade up and down two or three times let me show you how very quickly so you can see there because I do this quite a lot okay I've already I'm already on, on the money I've got a nice even wear line not on the edge not on the top Nice even wear line, so I know my angle, and now I'm just going to repeat that process to bring this down to this nick. Okay, so I've got a complete edge there now, however, I do have this rather large nick just here, okay, quite a big one. So what I do is I've tipped my grinder on its side, and now I will then grind the rest of this profile down to the lowest point of that, of that nick. Keep checking as you go. Okay, so that's pretty good. I now don't have that nick. Although it's slightly visible, it's more visible on the top of the edge. This blade is now completely blunt and no good for anything. So now I need to re-bring re in that um, edge again, just like before. With that done, now what I want to do is transfer the blade over onto its backside and tighten the blade back up again one more time. And then just tidy up this back edge here where it's got a bit of burring over. And then I'm going to inspect the blade Checking for its angle, it's got a nice big step there. I could do this a bit more just on the front side here. See where there's a little tiny nick just here on the back? So I'm gonna touch more just there. But as I do it, I wanna try and incorporate it into the rest of the, of the blade. So I'm not just gonna grind here, so I put another step in it. I've got to bring down the entire blade. That feels pretty good to me. That, that um, dink is now gone from there. This isn't hot to touch. But because I've taken more material off, I need to turn the blade back over again. And smooth out the back again. With that now done, I can now fully inspect the blade. And we're checking for any nicks, which you'll, which you'll agree, there's no nicks on this blade now. I have a good edge. It's not super duper sharp. You won't cut your wrist on it, but it has a good uniformed edge throughout. All you then have to do is repeat the process. There's another nick just there. So what I'm gonna do is tighten up my blade, dull off the, the blade down to here. There's quite a bit to come off here to bring that down. So that is now level with this lowest nick. It's all just visible, but by the time I put a, gr a step onto that, that will disappear. So back on again. That's the front edge free profile. We're going to tip it over onto its back and tidy up the back edge of a blade, as before. And that nick is still present on the back edge again. I'll rotate the blade one more time. And it's just there, I can just see it. So I'm just gonna run that out again, but I'm not running it out here, I'm running it out here, bringing this whole blade down to it. Got it. 
fact it's got a little bit more there to come out so I'm going to go back in again and flatten it off. Just there. And bring this front edge down. And run it into there. There it goes. It's gone now. And now I'm going to grind that again. That's that dink now gone out of the blade. Again, turn it over. Now, before I've even sort of carried on with this, I haven't even checked the balance of the blade yet. Because there's no need to check it yet because we haven't finished. There's no point checking the balance of it until we've finished it. But now we've finished doing the blade. There's no dinks in that blade at all. Nice and nice, okay? Now we want to bring this um, vise all the way in well nearly in, about quarter way in, about there. I then use this blade balancing tool. Let me take my uh, plugs out of my ear rolls and I'll stop shouting. There you go. I use this tool. Now there are different ways in which you can do it, okay? My shed is slightly on the wonk, so uh, I need to put a little bit of paper in just to balance that up, which can be about there. Take that out of touch. I'm staring straight down at the pin and I can see that that's all even. Now I can then get my blade and stick it on. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that ain't far out. In fact, I'm happy with that. Um, is that just experience or is that just fluke? Now, if I bring you down, you can now see that blade is absolutely bang on. So I took off enough material either side, and that's what you get when you work the blade. You understand how, how much material you're taking off of the machine, or off of the blade. Now, if you were to, um, grind this blade and when you put it on your balancing tool it did this okay that means this end of the blade is heavy uh, and against this blade now you have two options you have an option is to regrind the profile of um of uh, this is too heavy to grind this one off and keep going keep going until you balance it up you can take a little bit off the back edge as well i do recommend that because it just by just by tightening up these uh, these lifters will give a bit more lift as well okay i, would, I do recommend that but the good thing about these um, blade balancing devices, and there's many out there on the market, is the noise that tell you if a blade is true, left or right, but it'll tell you if it's true forwards or backwards as well, okay? Now, um, there are other people, and I don't mind naming them, Mr. Bruce Pender over in Canada. He is um, a legend in himself, uh, and also a very dear friend of mine, and he just puts a nail in the vise. He makes sure the nail is roughly true, okay? And then he put his blade uh, on the nail. Now, you may be thinking, that's a bit crude, Mick. But as long as the blade sits central, which it is, um, that's done the same job. Now, that is actually recommended in some of the Briggs & Stratton manuals, okay, to do that. So, not only does I, have I used this device, which I seem to be true, this device also is sat true and the blade is absolutely as, as it should be. So, there's nothing wrong with using a nail. The only, the only difference with it using a nail is if you want to be particular about it, is it doesn't give you this, this motion as well, this forward and backwards motion. That's what it doesn't give you, okay? You can also use another device, which um, Zippo Varga and um, Double Wide 6 use. They've got a fandangle device, um, which tells you whether the blade is uh, not actually uh, balanced, but if the blade to be is blade is to be true so as the blade is, is I mean, it's been sharpened they have a device that comes out and as you just touch it to the blade you spin it and it'll tell you then if your blade's actually bent as well and which way it is bent so there are made in devices you can have um, this device will cost you around about uh, 1p this device will cost you around about a pound 10 and then i couldn't tell you how much zippos and uh, bobs is on double wide six because uh, i expect it'd be a few quid okay so there you have it that is how i sharpen um, a blade on a lawnmower. Now the advantages of this is, is if you're in my game uh, repairing lawnmowers um, to sell or what have you, if you've got an abundance of these and you know exactly what lawnmower this came off, okay, you can sand this down, spray it up uh, with, with some, with some um, uh, petrol resistant paint or some heat treated paint so it's nice and black. Um, as long as you can try and see the lettering as well, which also tries and helps. If you sand it back and then paint it all up and then sharpen it, okay, and it's balanced, you can then sell that on eBay or wherever as um, Belt 4 Honda Easy 16 inch um, blade, fully refurbished, fully sharpened and balanced, and going just under what the manufacturer sells on brand new, 
you could sell them. I've got an absolute box full of these. Uh, I don't tend to sell mine on because I never know what mowers comes in. So therefore, I always try and keep mine, keep mine spare and I get mine sharp and the balance already done. Uh, so when the mower comes in, bosh it straight on, away you go. So there you go. That is how you sharpen and balance um, a blade in the mixed mowing shack. And don't forget that other people like Bruce Pinder, Double Wide 6 and Zippo Varga also do their blades slightly different. I'm not contradicting them. That's how they do it. This is how I do it. Um, as I say, there are other devices out there. There are machines that you can get to do it. But if you're just a home user, if you haven't got um, a measuring uh, a pivot tool like I've got, just use a nail in a vise or stick a nail into a wall somewhere and hang it up on, on the shed door. That, that, it'll do the same job. If you're, not, if you're not that critical about it, then that's absolutely fine. If you enjoyed this little video of mixed mails on how to sharpen a blade, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, set your notifications to all, that way you'll be told when I've done a video or two, I'm on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time, uh, where I do giveaways and we have lots of fun talking about small engines and bits and pieces. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mills very, very soon, but until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take her easy.